Yes. Why don't you let us know? Well, if you take a look at your calendar, you'll see that tomorrow is Tuesday, not just any Tuesday. It is Fat Tuesday. And I must say that that is actually my favorite name for any holiday, <laughs> Fat Tuesday. But some call it Shrove Tuesday, other call it Pancake Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But the best way is how the French say it. Mardi Gras, but wherever you are, whatever you call it, the name really doesn't matter. But what does matter is that the millions of Americans tomorrow, and actually all over the world, are going to throw their diets out the window tomorrow yep. to indulge in some of those fattening sweets of sorts. That's right, and our local businesses are ready to help you with that. So why don't we take a look? It's time to break out the beads and start leaving room for seconds because it's Fat Tuesday and local businesses aren't holding back, so you shouldn't either. And they've been prepping for quite some time. I've been sitting down with my partner once a week for at least an hour and we've got all kinds of topics we need to get planned out because it's like four times busy, bigger than the next busiest day. Last year, Groovy Donuts actually made more than 10,000 punchki. And outdoing themselves isn't something that they are scared of. This year, they're offering 10 different flavors. One of the key things that we really focus on here is freshness. So you're not getting something that's been sitting in the rack for two days by the time you come in on Fat Tuesday. Groovy Donuts aren't the only ones aiming to help us fatten up on Fat Tuesday. Quality Dairy has been gearing up for months. This year, they're adding two new flavors, including pineapple upside down cake, yum, and chocolate frosted with peanut butter filling, even more yum. So whatever jelly-filled deliciousness you decide to indulge in this Fat Tuesday, you can't go wrong. We hope that you have a marvelous and delicious Mardi Gras. And of course, if sweets aren't your thing, there are other businesses hosting Mardi Gras events as well. Lansing Brewing is actually hosting a brewer's pairing dinner, Ooh. which is really cool because it's kind of unique to see what people are pairing their beer with, with food. That's at 6 p.m. tomorrow, but you do have to register online for that. Tomorrow is also the last night for the Looking Glass Brewery. Um, they're hosting their Poonshki Indulgence Week. Ooh. Tomorrow is the last night for that. So um, if you're in the mood for sweets, I would head out soon. Perfect. And you just gave me a few places to go to, so I'll oh, definitely yes. be doing that. Thank you, Claudia. Well, we are just...